Hello. Morning. It's smoking with the oldies. What are you smoking? Nothing. Oh. Actually, I'm drawing. How about yourself? I'm um, smoking. There you go. Okay, so we saw, we reviewed our first show. We really got a kick out of it, so I hope you do too. And we've decided that you're now sitting in on our coffee in the morning. Morning. Hi, Yo, we're going to get you. What are you smoking? Going to get you your Light own coffee cup. And a little ashtray for you if you need it there too. And so we'll just sit and talk about different things. Like kids and how seven-year-olds going on 27 or... I'm an old mom, okay? <laughs> and I'm new at that mom thing. And I just... Man, there were laws that prevented kids from acting like this when I was a kid. You went out the door... Yeah, when we were kids, we had less, less rules than... Yes, but the reason we have all these rules on. now, here we go. Here's a tangent Kids for you. in the you. 70s, we were running the streets free. Today's tangents. Why were we running the streets free? Because the people then that wanted to be free and not told what to do, morally, supposedly bankrupt and blah, 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 well, they're now the ones that have morally and financially bankrupt the country by doing what they want and to hell with everybody else. See how we also So our generation that had the less restriction... And now the older ones put that are putting because we uh, yes well actually I'm going to give you a couple about uh -huh. five more years five years ahead of us we, like the ones that had the sexual revolution in the 70s again this is my perception I was dropped on the wrong planet I'm already saying that so but what I think is just that ooh <whistles> go on <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's smoking the old knees. No, oh, is that Alzheimer's coming Look, on? we got much for midlifers. Not just Newtons, but whole grain Newtons. Is Ooh. Healthier. Healthy. Change. Healthy. Whatever. Does, do I look like healthy? <laughs> Has preserved this? No. Don't mess with my coffee. Don't put anything in my beer. I'm a Budweiser and just coffee person. That's it. Anyway. And now back to our story. So what's going on? Not much. No. no. Now we have to sit and come up with something. Come up with what? I don't know. What did you do last night? Major. I went to bike night. You did? Yeah, I was alright. Yeah, it's no fun going without the bike. You know that one day I got my bike started, got it home, and, and it poured the next day. And so now I can just kind of look at it. Oh, you people. Oh, yeah, you people. Anybody out there have this happen? I show up with documentation to talk to different people at a Chrysler 300 or my little Sebring convertible, and people are nice, nice to me and all that. Show up on a motorcycle, and all of a sudden you are kicked down three pegs for being a woman on a motorcycle. So a biker. I was told by the woman at taxation the other day. Rhode Island State Taxation. Yes, because well, we already had that in the last rant. Anyway, um, I told her if I had the $562 to make that payment, I wouldn't be driving my child around on an old motorcycle. Her immediate response was you shouldn't be doing that, and then I get treated like a second really? to third class citizen. I was told by her, well, your people always seem to come up with the money. No your word people. of a lie, your people. My people? What? The poor, white, and broke people? Shh. We're not supposed to talk about poor white people. That's right. Who, who does stand up for the poor white people? I'm not, everybody should be represented. We're not. <laughs> I just know that anytime somebody who's white says something, individually, they squash you like a bug. Well, it's time for people to stand up because it can't just be happening to us. Yeah. Collectively, no, one thing it makes another. a difference. Stop I don't difference. want crackpots coming around or anything like that. No, Constantly no nonsense. For an if it's really happening, then it needs to be addressed. This is nonsense. The state's overrun its authority on so many things, blows so much money. Why can't we sue them for mismanagement? How come... I can, I'll tell you right now, I can survive on 50 bucks for like a month. So I don't understand the state's budgets. We could turn around and we could staff all these places probably for half of the, what the salaries are, half the benefits, and the people would do a better job and be happier. Okay, enough on that. It's your turn now, Bet. I don't know, I'm just smoking my cigarette, you know, because somebody's going to pay taxes to support this state. <laughs> yes, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and those penalties and interest, I'm not interested. <laughs> Penalty. Now you need to pay a tax to have your dog groomed. Wally needs to be groomed. He's getting stinky again. Oh, come here. Nothing nothing a good bit lighter. You oh. gotta pay a tax if you want some little local musician band to come play music in your bar. And, you know, gotta pay tax. tax. Ooh, hey. Tax for that. Don't laugh at this because they might come out and tax you on that. <laughs> now, what about 
What about, so after I don't even smoke cigarettes. What about Rhode Island charging people taxes for buying cigarettes out of state? Are you for real? Especially on an internet world, you should be able to buy online and not have to pay tax on that too. Rhode Island didn't allow casinos in because they couldn't get a big enough piece of the pie, and now there's three or four. And, ooh, oh, you mean why don't we beat up the Indians? Yes, yeah. beat up the Indians. The Indians that are here now, and I do not mean any disrespect. Well, actually, why don't I just apologize to every ethnicity, every religious, whatever? Because yeah, I'm sure I, I'm now. I'm, I'm, yeah, because there's no telling. Okay, so I'm an equal opportunity asshole. So I'm going to apologize now for offending you. And it was we know never you're an asshole for offense. We're all See, assholes. That wasn't, yeah, well, yeah. So, Come on. But I'm just apologizing. I'm an equal opportunity asshole. I will offend any everybody at some point in time, and I do apologize. It is not meant personally. Yeah, except me too. For, so don't get except, all excited. No, no, no. Except for to you, and you know who you are. I love doing that to p people that are insecure. Ah, oh, gonna blow. Yeah, it's mind. all about you, retard. Okay, she just blew that way out of proportion. <laughs> so if we had a subject to go back to talk to, let's see, irony. Anything on irony? No. Uh, how about? No, nope, that wouldn't be good. Okay, I'm thinking. Oh, I know. We decided, well, we didn't decide. I wrote it down and laughed my ass off. We decided that we are the Kathy Lee and Huda of... Huda? Huda? Isn't that her name, Huda? I don't know, but I'll be a Huda. Where's no, the Huda? Not Huda. <laughs> Let okay. it up. Kathy Lee and Huda. There we go. Of the tie-dye world. So that's it for right now for smoking with the oldies. Because we got lost on conversation. Kind of smoking. We'll see you again real soon.